We're going to do a second part to an example on orthogonal collocation on finite elements. Uh, to get to this example, uh, come to the Dynamic Optimization website, and uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, so let me just go ahead and show you how to get there. Uh, go ahead and go to apmonitor.com and, uh, and uh, slash do for dynamic optimization, and then the material for this is going to be down in the modeling section under um, collocation. So just go ahead and open that up and uh, you'll see a little bit of uh, lecture content, exercise one. We're going to extend this um, exercise to, uh, you see the solution there for exercise one. So we're going to extend this, we're going to compare uh, orthogonal collocation on finite elements with three nodes. Okay, so just one time step, but with three collocation points. With a, compare that with a numerical integrator. Um, and in this case, we'll use ODE15S in MATLAB or ODEINT in Python. And we'll calculate the error at each of the solution points. Okay, so there's uh, the solution files here if you want to take a look at them or download them. Um, we're going to run the solution with three methods in, in MATLAB or Python. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, just talk about our problem that we're going to be solving. Uh, the so we have um, 5 times dx dt equals negative x squared uh, plus u. Okay, so this is our differential equation we're going to solve. And we're going to have three collocation points. Um, we'll have 0, 0 0.5, and 1.0. And uh, we want to calculate what is the solution at, um, at these three points. So we have a couple different um, equations that we're going to set up and solve. Uh, the first one is going to be just the uh, this equation at those two points. Okay, so I'm going to label this x0, x1, and x2. This is time 0, time 1, and time 2. Okay, so uh, this is an initial condition, it's just fixed, but we don't know the values of x1 and x2, so we need an equation for both of those. Okay, so we have 5 uh, dx1 dt equals negative x1 squared plus u. We're just going to have one value of u that's going to be fixed over the horizon. Okay, and then we have another equation, which is dx2 dt equals negative x2 squared plus u. Okay, so we have um, these two equations, one for x1 and x2, um, but we don't know what the derivative values are. And that's where our orthogonal collocation comes in. Okay, so the number of variables that we have um, is going to be x1, x2, we don't know dx1 dt and dx2 uh, dt. Okay, so that's the derivative value right here and the derivative value right here. Okay, so those are additional variables. We have four variables. Okay, so in order to be able to solve this, um, we need four equations as well. Okay, so our two other equations are gonna come from, um, they're actually gonna come from the orthogonal collocation. Uh, so I have this matrix N and uh, then I'm just going to do dx1 dt, dx2 dt. Okay, and that's going to equal um, x1, x2, minus x0, x0. Okay, so for uh, different collocation structures, you're going to come up with a different matrix N. That's going to be a 2 by 2 uh, matrix. And um, we're going to uh, look that up in the uh, in a paper, a reference um, that's on this website. Okay, so if you come down here and uh, go to this reference on uh, ResearchGate or ScienceDirect, you know either one. Go ahead and download it, and um, you'll be able to get the uh, full text here. Okay, and. Um, Let's see, this is still loading. Okay, so once this finishes loading, then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at um, 
We'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, that matrix N that's available uh, from this text. Okay, we'll just come back to it in, in just a second. Um, let's go ahead and just build this um, the uh, integrators in MATLAB and Python as well. Okay, so I'll start with um, I'll start with MATLAB. Uh, in order to be able to solve this in MATLAB, you have to declare a new function and return the derivative value. Um, I'm going to name that collocation, um, and then you have to have the time, and then your x values as well. Okay, and then I have u equals 4, and there's my x dot equation there. You have to put a, uh, the derivative on the left-hand side, solve for it explicitly, and then return it. Okay, so that is it in uh, MATLAB. In Python, it's very similar. You just define a new function. And in this case, instead of t comma x, it's x comma t. They put a colon there, um, and define u equals 4. Indentation is important in Python. And then x dot is equal to x uh, squared plus u. Okay, you want to put that 5 in there as well, but you got to, again, uh, divide it over onto the other side. Okay. Um, instead of uh, the squared, we put the, the uh, two asterisk signs. That means uh, take x squared. Okay, and then you have to return x dot. Okay, so there is our um, there is that script. Um, so this is how you solve the differential equation in MATLAB. That's how you do it with ODE int in uh, in Python. Okay, and then we're going to also set up our collocation um, equations as well. Um, parameters, uh, variables. This is just doing it with AP monitor just for comparison. Okay, then we have our differential equation. Okay, let's do the collocation equations as well. Okay, so this is a, a comparison between three different ways of solving it. Parameters, there's our initial condition, which is fixed. Uh, we have u equals 4. And then I have variables x1, x2, dx1 dt, dx2 dt. Okay, so those are just like variables, like if you declared it as y1 and y2. Okay, and then you have equations. Okay, so I'm going to solve that equation at um, time step 1, time step 2. Okay, and then here are my two collocation equations as well. All right, and I'm going to show you where those came from. That's not in, in matrix form, but if you just scroll down uh, here, I mean, you'll find it in this paper. Um, just go ahead and download that, and you'll see um, how you come up with the values of n. Okay, so it's just reference one right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and just run um, all of these uh, models. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. If you just want to download the solution, you can do that. I'm going to do this one in Python, first of all, and then I'll do it in MATLAB. Okay, so I just had to import some packages here. Uh, method one, I'm just going to solve it with AP Monitor, this collocation uh, model. Okay, so let me bring that up. So that is uh, this one that I'm going to solve. Just letting me write it as a differential equation. AP Monitor takes care of the collocation for you. Okay, this is the next one that we're going to solve. This is where we've set up the collocation equations. Okay, so here are the collocation equations right here. We're just going to solve it like it's an algebraic problem. Okay, so just a few more equations. So you can see the difference between here where we haven't done the collocation equations, but AP Monitor does it for us, or here's where we're going to do the collocation equations ourselves. Okay, now we're going to have ODE int uh, do this as well. I just had to import uh, collocation.py, and then I'm going to use ODE int uh, to solve this. Okay, and then when I run it, um, it's just going to come up with the solution at uh, all of these values. Uh, ODE int, the final solution was 0 0.7599, and uh, with orthogonal collocation using... Uh, not really a matrix, but that is the um, the second method. Uh, gave us 0.7672, and also AP monitor that did the collocation equations for us. That came up with the essentially the same answer there. Okay, let's do this in MATLAB as well. Okay, so I'm going to come back here and just open up MATLAB. Um, Again, this is uh, fairly simple for you know the simple problem. Uh, when you get up to much larger systems, you know, writing the collocation equations yourself can be a little bit challenging. It definitely is possible, um, and that's part of the reason why um, 
you know, AP Monitor helps with that to just write the collocation equations, but it's helpful to understand, you know, where the equations are coming from and why we've written them that way. Okay, so now it's running in um, AP Monitor as well. Okay, so we got the same results that we did um, with Python. Okay, you can also see the X1 value, 0.405, uh, versus in MATLAB, uh, 0.394. Um, now there's just a little bit of error associated with you know using orthogonal collocation. If you made you know more time points, um, more collocation uh, time points, then that that uh, error would go down. 